Last time I said in TBR Crudo that I was manifesting an incredible reading month, it happened in March. I read the most amount of books I've ever read in a month. So we're doing it again this month and hopefully we'll have a great reading month. Hello my friends, welcome to TBR Cluedo! <laughs> my TBR game themed off of Super Cluedo. I'll link the whole playlist down below where you can find out the rules. April has been an okay reading month. It hasn't been an incredible reading month and I'm just hoping for May. Oh, I'm hoping we're gonna get energy going. Sorry, this jacket's a bit noisy. I'll try not to just gesticulate too much. You don't have to shout! Why are you shouting at me? May, you know, spring is here, fun weather. I'm much happier when it's fun weather. And I'm hoping for good vibes in May. So maybe like the best, highest rated reading month ever. That would be fun. I was looking at the videos I've got coming, the vlogs I've got coming in May, and a lot of them are ones that I either don't have set books I have to read for them, it's more like a reading experiment, or they're ones that I can't pick what I'm reading yet. I have no idea what I'm reading, it's gonna happen in the moment, <laughs> in the video, I'm not gonna have any choice. That's what's coming, right? And so I was like, I could kind of read anything. Usually I go into TBR Cluedo knowing, okay, these are some books that I've got, if I can get into the rooms that fit those genres, maybe I'll get a prompt that I can fit to that, etc, right? This month I kind of just went in blind and I just let TBR Cluedo do its thing. So shall we just get into the first roll? Okay, roll number one, person number five, which is white over here in horror. Let's see how many we roll. Oh. Oh shit, that was a two. That was a two! Okay. <laughs> oh, we can just go one, two. And that is number one, which is a new to me author. So roll one was a horror book that was a new to me author, and this is the one that I gave to my patrons to vote. They vote on one round of TBL Cluedo every month, my Team Lux and Team Rora tiers, and then that is our book club pick for the month. So that's how they decide what our book club pick is gonna be. And the options that I gave them were The Lake House by Sarah Beth Durst, White Horse by Erica T. Worth, Pine by Francine Toon, and Rules for Vanishing by Kate Alice Marshall. And the winner, by quite a way, was Rules for Vanishing by Kate Alice Marshall. Now, I actually don't own this book. <laughs> I put it in here I, as like a last option because I needed, I didn't have actually that many books by authors that are horror that I've never read from before. And so I just put it in here as a fourth option. I have the audio book, but now I'm gonna have to get my hands on the physical book as well at some point. I don't know much about it. I think it's a YA horror. I think about a wood where a lot of girls or a lot of people have been going vanishing. I do own What Lies in the Woods by Kate S. Marshall, which I think is a adult thriller more so than horror, but we haven't had horror in a long time. And so I thought this would be a fun, you know, it'd be fun to give this to my patrons to vote onto the book club. We've been having a good year, I feel like in the book club. Last year was a bit rocky. <laughs> <laughs> but this year we've had a good one and so I'm really excited to read this. I've heard really, really good things and I'm excited to give my first Kate Alice Marshall a go. Roll number two. Person number two, which is purple over in romance. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a five and a one. I guess we just go one and get number 21 and that is a title with two words. Role number two was a romance with two words in the title. And for this, I have gone with Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade, because this is now one of the kind of older romances I have on my TBR that I haven't gotten around to yet. And I just wanna know what I think of it, because I know this has kind of become a series. So the guy is a star on one of the biggest shows on TV, but he's also a fan fiction writer, which is fun. And then the girl is a big fan of the show. And she like cosplays, and I think because she's plus size, she posts like a cosplay online, and she gets made fun of, and he like asks her out on a date, essentially, I think is the general, the general synopsis of this. And it's just time that I love more romance authors other than <laughs> Ali Hazelwood and Talia Hibbert are kind of my safety romance authors that I know I'm gonna enjoy. I recently read Abby Jimenez and I loved Part of Your World. It was so good. So I'm excited to see what I think of this one. Role number three, person number one, which is green over here in fantasy. We've rolled a five and a two. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven which is number 26, which is, oh my God, something I've been scared to read. Okay. <laughs> Roll number three was a fantasy that I have been scared to read. I don't feel like TV it. we'll see more, but they weren't very kind to me this month. Okay. <laughs> I have chosen Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo. I'm 
petrified. Right? Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Ooh. I think I'm right in saying, unless I'm having like a brain fart, this is like the only Grishaverse book I haven't read yet, right? This is like the latest, most up-to-date Grishaverse book. And I'm just nervous because I didn't love the Shadow and Bone trilogy. I loved Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Didn't love King of Scars and I'm just nervous for this, right? Because I feel like this has more characters in it than from Shadow and Bone than it does Six of Crows. And I just don't know if it's gonna be for me. And I'm, I've just been putting it off. It was actually wrapped up as like one of the books I was least excited to read. But I've decided to read it for this because it means finishing off another series. I do love the cover. I know some people don't love it. This is like one of my favorite covers ever. I just love the colors. Like it, something about Lee Bardugo, she always has good covers. I've been really nervous to read this. I've been putting it off and I feel like a, it's time we finish another duology. But yeah, I just don't know how I'm gonna react to this, right? So you're following Nikolai, Nina, and Zoya. And Nina's from Six of Crows, but the other, right, Zoya? I'm not going insane, yeah. Uh, but Nikolai and Zoya are from Shadow and Bone. And I just like don't connect to that world as much. And I love Nina, but I don't necessarily love Nina in the series. So I'm nervous. I've been really scared to read it, but I think it's time. Let's finish off another duology. I finished my first series of the year. It only took me four months uh, the other day and it's got me excited to finish more series. So we're gonna get it read. Roll number four. We've got person number one. Okay, we've got fantasy again. <laughs> we've got green. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a six and a two. Can I get to the, the rows in that? One, two. Three, four, five. Oh, I don't know if we can. One, two, three, four. Mm, I don't think we can. We'll have to go for something else. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is number 14. Oh my God, no. <laughs> it's a book with all the letters of my name in the title. I hate this one. <laughs> Then we had a fantasy with all the letters of my first name in the title. <laughs> and it was hard. Sometimes I get this. I get this fairly often. It's sometimes, it seems to be a prompt that T. Buckley don't enjoy giving me. It's not one that I enjoy getting. Evil, evil. I sorted my fantasy shelf because I organized on Goodreads like all my unread books into their genres for TBR Cluedo so it's easier to find them. And I sorted my fantasy shelf into like date added. So the newest ones for my TBR are at the top. And I scrolled through and I picked the first book that I found that had all the letters of my name and title. And it's a book that I got over a year ago. <laughs> it took me a long time to find one. And the book that I'm gonna be reading this month, one way or another, is Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sulin Tan. It's, we've been waiting, we've been waiting to read it and it's happening. Here's the situation. You might be wondering, Megan, why are you not holding up your beautiful, gorgeous copy of this? And that is because it's wrapped up, right? It's wrapped up and I thought about unwrapping it to hold it up, but I was like, if I could get it for wrapped up this <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. So what we're gonna try and do is I'm gonna film my unwrapped for this month at some point, my unwrapping of the books, and I'm gonna try and get Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Usually I've forgotten what half the books that are wrapped up are. I just go in, pick one blind, okay? But I'm gonna try and get Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I know it's a hardback. I know it's fairly thick. We're gonna try and get it. <laughs> that might be wrapped up this month. If not, I'll fit it into another video. But all I, I mean, I've forgotten half what this book's about because it's been so long, like literally shame on me. But I think it's about the girl's daughter of the moon goddess who's been exiled and she's trying to like, get back to her mother or save her mother or what have you. And I've just heard a lot of good things about this. It was a lot of people's like favorites of the year list. And my, my copy is the most gorgeous book I own. It's, I'm not kidding. It's like one of the most gorgeous books I own. So I have to love it. I've already bought the sequel, the special fairy loot edition because I love the first one so much I wanted to, to match. I'm not that kind of girl, if you know me. I'm usually not super bothered about special editions. I don't usually get them, but I was like, the first book is so beautiful. I have to get the magic second one. It's a problem. So I have to love it because I've made a significant financial investment and there's no choice in the matter. So yeah, it will either be in Wrapped Up <laughs> or another video. Okay, roll number five. I'd like to get one of the weapons. Person number eight, which is blue over in Contemporary. Let's see how many we roll. Whoa, okay, we've got a two and a two. Oh, okay, let's just go one, two. And get, ah, I just dropped it. Uh, get the candlestick. Which one's that again? 
Oh, a candlestick is phone a friend. Okay. So then I got the candlestick super weapon. So this one's phone a friend. Usually this would be a booktuber, but I forgot that I got this as a prompt. I filmed these a couple days before in order to give my patrons time to vote and stuff. So I forgot and I haven't organized and I have to film this now. So Tom's gonna help me pick a book. Tom's gonna pick a book for me. He's my friend. Shall I phone him? <laughs> Hello. Could you come pick a book for me, please? Okay, bye. <laughs> he often picks based off cover or the look of a book because he like doesn't know anything else. <laughs> so we'll see what, I don't have any predictions for what he's gonna pick. We'll see what he picks. Hello. Hi. Okay, you gotta pick a book for me. You gotta pick a book. Here on the cart or this shelf or this shelf. Or you can pick any of them actually. I will be like here. Sounds kind of shit. <laughs> Take my hand. Ooh. You like the sound of this? Or would you rather not? I don't really know much what's wrong. I got stuff on my teeth. Make on teeth. Oh shit. Sorry guys. I don't really know much about that one. I'm gonna be honest. You can pick it if you want. Then I'm picking this one. Okay, Take My Hand by Deline Perkins Valdez. I actually don't know what it's about. It's got a very nice cover. Yeah. Seems like a very sweet story. Okay. It's about a doctor. A young black nurse's shocking discovery and burning quest for justice in post-segregation Alabama, Alabama from the bestseller author of Wench. Oh. Alabama, 1973. Okay, thank you. I wouldn't have read that for like years if it wasn't for you picking it. Well, it could be a new favorite. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. You can go now. You're free to go. <laughs> okay. So he's picked to take my hand. Okay. <laughs> I don't know anything about this. So we told you about a young black nurse with shocking discovery. What else does it say? Sisters? We've got sisters. I remember seeing this in the Goodreads Awards for like historical fiction last year. But yeah, I know nothing about this. And like I told Tom, it probably would have taken me like 10 years to get around to this one if he hadn't picked it. So there we go, guys. Please let me know what you thought of this if you've read this. But it is a nice cover. He's right. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping he'd pick like one of my new releases from here, but he's picked this. Okay. Okay, final roll. Person number three, which is red over here in historical. Let's see how many roll. A three and a five. Let me just put that book back. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. And that is number 22, which is a title with three words. And then my final roll was a historical with three words in the title. And I originally was gonna pick a different book for this, but I was chatting to my patrons yesterday about a vlog that I've got coming this month that I didn't know what to pick for it. And they mentioned this book and it fits the prompt. So we're going with it. I'm gonna be reading, wait. <gasps> no, I'm not. <laughs> oh shit. It, it, clap if you've ever wanted to kill somebody. <laughs> I thought it was just Song of Achilles. It's the Song of Achilles. Well, I still am gonna be reading this, but now I need to find something else to read. Can we double up? Because <laughs> Take My Hand is a historical with three words. <laughs> oh shit. I was so proud of myself for getting this into the TBR. I was like, oh my God, that works. And it's the song of Achilles. Well, <laughs> let's have a look on my historical. Oh my God. What am I gonna read? What of these do I wanna read? I don't wanna read any of these ones that are three words yet. Oh my God, oh no. We're almost out of historical books. <gasps> I don't have one that I wanna read. Guys, no! <laughs> Do we just go with the other book that I was gonna read? But then I've swapped, okay, here's the thing. 
I even know where this book is because I wasn't going to read it anymore. Originally, I was going to pick Escaping from Houdini by Kerry Maniscalco, but then I swapped out the video that this was in because I could fit single clues into the TBR so I didn't have to read this this month. So I wasn't planning on doing that video anymore and I've swapped in other books for a different video. This is, this is chaotic. Oh no. This is the worst. This is the worst. This is the worst. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's just put Escaping from Houdini on the TBR. This is the third in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. We've got, I never remember these characters, Audrey Rose Wadsworth and Thomas Cresswell. And on this one, I think, is it the Titanic? Not the Titanic, but they're on a boat to America. And maybe Houdini's there? I don't really know much about it, but I want to finish this series by the end of the year. It is the oldest series still on my TBR that I'm still currently reading, and I would like to get around to finishing it soon. This is the third one. Fourth one is Capturing the Devil. I always feel like I should love these more than I do. I think of them as like a three to four, you know, like a 3.5, the first two. But it's got like mixed media, which I love. Like it really puts you in the historical setting. Like, look, there's like pictures. And I really feel like I should love it more than I do, but... It's, we'll finish the series off. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I've just made a whole mess of things. Oh well. Love you guys. <laughs> That's the end of TBR Cleo for this month. I'm not feeling positive anymore, but we live and we learn. <laughs> Anyways, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've read any of the books that are on my TBR this month, what you thought of them. I'd love to know your feedback. If you got to the end of the video, comment a crying face emoji because I'm, no, I'm really sad. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.